What's going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 38th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to begin talking about JavaScript and forms. Now one of the reasons why JavaScript is so popular today in web design is because it has this built-in ability to work perfectly with forms, especially when I talk about verifying data. For example, if you had a form on your website and you wanted the user to enter an email, well, you don't want just them to put in like tuna fish or you know a bunch of numbers. You want an actual email with an at sign and a dot for like dot com. So you want to be able to verify this data, and that's where JavaScript comes in handy. So again sometimes people learn JavaScript only for form validation so that shows you how big a part of JavaScript and forms go together so if you're ever reading a JavaScript book they devote entire chapters to JavaScript and forms so enough of me talking let me just show you guys a quick example so in order to start I basically want to tell you this whenever you add a f I'm not talking about JavaScript now just basic XHTML whenever you add a form to your web page in JavaScript it creates a form object automatically you don't have to you know go through var x um, new form equals yada 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 JavaScript automatically creates a form object and all we need to do is learn how to access the information in that form so what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is creating a basic form using XHTML and then we're just going to be you know accessing it and I don't know maybe print out a property or something so let's go ahead and make a basic form in XHTML since this isn't JavaScript make sure it's outside your script tags this is just basic XHTML, HTML, whatever you want to call it. So form, form, and let's go ahead and add three elements. Username, and this is just an input. And again, if you don't know what I'm doing right here, go and watch my XHTML tutorials, and I'll tell you guys all about it. So anyways, um, I'm just going to make a simple text box, text box first, and then I'm going to make, you know, to be honest, you don't have to copy my form exactly. Just go ahead and make any form you want with some elements in it. Um, I just want something to work with on the screen. So make another password box and then go ahead and make a submit button. So input type equals submit value equals submit. So now if we go ahead and print this out, we should have a basic form with your username, a password, and a submit button. So we have a website with a basic plain old form on it. Easy enough. So in this tutorial, like I said, I just want to show you guys how to access this form in, you know, JavaScript language. So before I start typing, let me tell you guys this. JavaScript has very unique way of identifying forms on your web page. It identifies them, first of all, it puts them all into a form array. So if you had a website with eight different forms in it, it would have eight different elements in that form array. And again, like I said, you don't need to create this explicitly. Whenever you have forms on your web page, JavaScript sees that and it creates your array for you automatically. So if you're saying, all right, we know that it automatically created an array object already and it created that form array but how do I access this form right here well just like anything else in arrays JavaScript numbers each object in your array so the first form say you had like three different forms on your web page the first form would be form 0 array index 0 the second form would be form 1 the third form would be form 2. So as you can see, the more forms you have on your web page, um, the more elements in the array, and that's how you access them. So again, since we only have one form, and I'll basically only be working with one form uh, in these examples, we're going to access that using forms 0, since remember, 0 in arrays are the first element in the array. So let's go ahead and um, one of the properties in forms this forms object is length and the length of a form is basically how many items do you have in it well we have one input right here one input box another input box right here and a button right here so this form has three elements in it so if we were to print out the length of this form it would be three so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do that just go ahead and we'll set it equal to the variable x why not and in order to access the form you write document 
dot forms and whatever form you want to access and like I said since this is the one and only form this is going to be form zero if you wanted to access the fifth form say you had five forms it would be form four because zero one two three four the fourth item in your array or excuse me fourth index would be form five so easy enough this is form zero since it's the first one so again your document which is basically your web page has an array object that's built in already called forms now that forms array object has a built-in property called length and that length property like I said is how many elements are in your form one two three so now we have the variable three stored in X so now let's just go ahead and print that out to verify it document dot write X so now whenever we refresh and load our web page we should get that form still but under it we should have a nice pretty little three right here and let me go ahead and take one of these elements out take this password out and just refresh it just to show you guys that indeed it changes to two because now there are only two elements the input box and the submit button so that is the basics of how you access different forms in JavaScript again the form is part of the document. The document is basically your web page body itself. Now that body has an object called forms and it's built in forms array. So that's why how we access that using document dot forms. Now this forms has a property that's the length. So that's why we had to access that using dot length. So again, what you want to take away from this tutorial is this whenever you have a lot of different forms on your web page you need to identify them using your built-in array object and that's called forms and in order to differentiate between different forms you need to say what form you're looking at and each form has a built-in property called length and that is of course how many elements are in your form and then what we did is we just counted the elements and printed it out on the screen so now that you know how to identify your forms and again with these tutorials we're going to be working with form zero basically all the time we're never going to have more than one form and you typically don't but anyways I just want to go over that so anyways that's all I'm going to talk to you guys about for this tutorial it's getting kind of lengthy but thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video